Good afternoon. We're here on Oat Hall Avenue and we're here to see number 21, which is the semi-detached house in the middle of your screen now. Uh, just so you know where we are, if I look in a westerly direction up Oat Hall Avenue, that goes up to Oat Hall Road and that's your shortcut to the railway station. So according to Google Maps, from where I'm standing, it's 0.6 miles going straight across Clare Park, which is a beautiful station in the morning. And you can walk up through the park to the town centre. Uh, literally, if I look to my east, there's a uh, just a roundabout here and there's a back entrance just around the corner there into Oak Hall Secondary School, which is the community college with the uh, working farm, which all the children get involved with. So great location, you can walk to everything from here. So uh, what we believe is these are the old uh, Turner design houses, we believe, built around 1930, so lots of character. Our clients, as you can see, have created this fabulous driveway. This was redone really about three years ago. So as you can see, you've got parking for, crikey, you know, at least six cars here. And if you really wanted any more parking, you've got the front garden to sacrifice there. But really pretty with all these beds and so on. And then what I do, because it's a funny old day today, it's very windy. I'm just going to take you around the garden and then we'll come back in the house. So you've got the gates here. Now if you really wanted to, or originally this was the driveway that went through to the garage. But the garage has been converted into like a home annex or home office, which I'll show you. But when you get around the back here, you can see this part of the house has been extended. So it's created a, a downstairs cloakroom and the rear has had a, a single story extension, making it all a lot bigger. But before I take you down the garden, come and have a look at this. So this is what was the garage, which in my opinion has been put to much better use. Everyone wants a home office or a guest suite or whatever you want to use this as, but what a fab room. So we've got, it's got its own cloakroom, so you've got a loo out here, so water, but this is such a flexible bit of space. Now, as you can see, they've got a, uh, a pull-out sofa bed here. We're hiding various bits and pieces in here, but this is a lovely room. So you've got windows with a Velux actually above it, another window there, and obviously a great big Velux there, and there's actually a little mezzanine level up there for storage. But what a great room. So whether you wanted this for guests, because it's got a cloakroom, it's quite handy. If you wanted it as a guest suite, great home office for someone. Uh, or someone wanting a home therapy centre or even a really fabulous gym. This could be great. So you've got all this hardwood flooring in here as well. So that's that. That's the annex come garage. So that's, you could call that bedroom four or the guest suite. And then come have a look at the garden. Now the front garden, I think I've measured at about 79 feet in length and it's 35 feet wide. This back garden, so off the back of the house through to this back fence, I've measured at 92 feet, and again, this is 35 feet, five feet wide. So it's the perfect long rectangular plot. Obviously a shed up here and all these beds. Typically the sun's coming out, so we're looking into it now. But you get a really good idea. I mean, what a great big garden. And quite a few of these houses, obviously the neighboring house has actually been extended on the ground floor like us. But if you look next door, that's another identical pair of semi-detached houses which have been extended. One of them has been extended on two stories. So if you really wanted to make this a much bigger house, because it is a big house in a great location. If you wanted to make it into a four or five bedroom semi-detached house, you certainly could. But great position here. Oak Hall Avenue is one of those great addresses that uh, is just so handy for everything. So I won't take you in the back door. So there's a back door into the utility room we'll see in a second. But I'm gonna bring you back in the front door. So just to recap, loads and loads of parking. When you look across the road, you can see they're all very nice houses around here. So it's a really nice green, leafy location. So come in. So first of all, we've got a lovely big entrance hall with this original flooring and the original staircase. That's obviously painted wood, but that would have been all dark wood to match these floors. And before we go off too far, there's a downstairs cloakroom. So this is a great additional with proper big walk-in shower there, and the Velux are really handy, as there's only one bathroom upstairs, so that saves a few arguments. And then come through, so I won't go through the kitchen, we're going to the living room first. So originally, this is all you got downstairs as far as living space. So a beautiful big front room. A lot of these windows have been replaced in, in some really nice UPVC and leaded light windows, so gives you an idea of the aspect there. You've got these quarry tiled window sills. And as you look around, you'll see we've got all the old panel doors as well. So living room there with an open fireplace. That's a classic 
Turner look, or certainly for the period. A lot of these houses were built by a handful of builders back in the 1920s and the 1930s. You've even got an old serving hatch there going through. And then this is the extension. So this casement here, these would have been the original doors into the garden. But now we've got this fab big family room. Now it's a really freezing cold day today, so we haven't opened up those doors. But if you imagine with those bifold doors open, what a great room this would be. Looking straight out down the garden. And the garden is actually north facing. I know a lot of people knock a north facing garden, but when you've got a garden as big as this, it doesn't matter because actually the sun sets in the west. So I can guarantee you in the summer, that terrace where that table and chairs is, is going to be getting sunshine all, all day. So that's the family room or recreation room. Now at the back, you've got the kitchen there. Before I look in that, this is the rear lobby. Come utility, come boot room. So very handy. The boiler's up there. <laughs> Looks like a fairly modern boiler. And then here's the kitchen, which again has been refitted in a really, well, modern range of high gloss units with these, I'm not quite sure what this, I think these are composite or they are, feel like, you know, natural stone worktops. So they're the modern units. And then you've got the original old glaze units on the wall there. Now they are really lovely. I mean, they're probably worth more than the kitchen to anyone who's a mad retro uh, enthusiast or the old Art deco -y period, they'll love that. And that was that serving hatch I showed you from the dining area. And very handy under stairs, larder unit there. And there's a couple of other cupboards under the stairs here. So that's the ground floor, and then come upstairs. They were big houses, these. These are not your average semi-detached house. They're certainly a lot bigger than normal. Um, but just to show you around in order, front room, now this is the long room, almost looks like it's been extended over that porch area, but really fab big room. Someone's very lucky to have a nice big bedroom here. Again, overlooking the front. And that comes around here, you've got a big recess for wardrobes there and a window looking back over sort of the side of the neighbours that way. And the front bedroom you'd probably say is the biggest of the bedrooms. So really nice big room here. I don't know if you notice, you've got the original Bakelite handles and uh, Art Deco designs there. Little built-in cupboard in there, and that's just a feature fireplace. That's like a gunmetal fireplace, probably not, not the original, but it is a feature. We've never tried using it. But one thing is original is that lovely stained glass window. Isn't that great? And then the second bedroom, another nice double. Again, with cupboards there, and that's overlooking the rear of the property. As I look out the window, those houses over to your left, they're actually in a cul-de-sac called Greenways. And actually, you've got the allotments behind you. So the land behind is all allotments. No doubt a waiting list for those. That is almost sacred land, you could say. So I can't imagine they'll ever be built on. Should be owned by the council, I would have thought. And then this bathroom, a bit like the downstairs shower room, has all been revamped. So you've got this fabulous big, wide basin, twin windows and a loo and of course a great big bath with a shower above so there you go that pretty sums it up so just to recap downstairs big lounge or the original lounge diner the recreation room the kitchen and the utility plus the shower room and cloakroom and then upstairs three pretty big bedrooms and a lovely bathroom and then outside you've got that garage come recreation room whatever you want to use it as and of course, a great big garden. And this room, which I love, I think this is my favorite room. Great big party room, really. Bring on the summer, let's open those doors and let's have a barbecue. I hope that's of interest. If you'd like to have a look, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Haverseeth.